Year 8 Linear Equation Exam Practice, question 17. Solve the following equation. So we've got 3 in brackets, 4s plus 3 minus 3 equals 3 in brackets, 3s plus 5 bracket plus 15. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of these brackets, which means we need to times 3 by everything inside. And likewise, with our second bracket, we need to times the 3 by everything inside. So if we do that, that gives us the equation. Well, 3 times 4s is 12s. 3 times 3 is positive 9. So 9 minus 3 is equal to, and we've got 3 times 3s, which is 9s. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 15. So we just need to simplify this equation now by grouping the constants together. So 9 take away 3 is 6. So it's plus 6 is equal to 9s. 15 plus 15 is plus 30. So the next step that I need to think about is getting, is getting my variables onto one side. So that just means that I'm just going to take 9s from both sides. So if I take 9s from both sides, that leaves me with 12s minus 9s is 3s. So 3s plus 6 is equal to 30. Likewise, I am going to get rid of my constant on one side. So I'm just going to take away 6 from both sides. Because remember, it's a equivalent relationship. So that leaves me with 3s is equal to 24. Likewise, I need to divide my 3s and my 24 by 3 because I need to get s by itself and the opposite of times is divide. So I'll divide them both by 3. That gives me the, the, the value for s, which is 24 divided by 3, is 8. So s is worth 8. The same thing applies to my next question of 3 in brackets, 4h plus 5, plus 2 equals 14, plus 3 in brackets, 5h minus 2. We need to get rid of these brackets before we can do anything. So the 3 must times by everything inside this first bracket, and the 3 here must times by everything in our second bracket. So that gives us 3 times 4h is 12h, and 3 plus 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. And I've got plus 2 here, and that's equal to 14, and then I've got my other bracket. 3 times 5h is 15h, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Don't forget that, that it's a negative 2 there. Now, we just need to simplify by grouping everything that we have together. So, on my first side, I've got 12h, but I've got 15 plus 2 is 17. Same on my second side, I've got 15h, but I've got 14. Take away 6 equals positive 8. Next thing we need to think about is getting our constants onto one side, so that means, and our variables onto one side. So straight away, I'm just going to take away 8 from both sides. If I take away 8 from both sides, I'm left with 12h, and I've got 17 take away 8 equals positive 9, and that's equal to 15h. Again, I'm wanting to get my variable onto one side, so I just take 12h from both sides. If I take 12h from both sides, that leaves me with 9 is equal to 3h. So now I'm left with 9 equal to 3h. I need to divide both sides by 3 to get rid of the 3h and just have 1h. So that that leaves me with h is equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. 